But let's not blame the preacher because you don't read. Can I encourage them? I want to encourage you. Don't just love sermons and not love God's word. I want to encourage you to not just hang on to sermons, but hang on to God's word. I want you to hear what your pastor just said. When he was in the dark night of his soul, it was not a sermon that pulled him out. It was his word that pulled him out. So I want to encourage you to honor people who are faithful proclaimers and be encouraged by sermons and messages. But I want to tell you, my American brothers and sisters, man, start reading the word for yourself. Man, read the word. Listen to the word. If, if you don't like to read and you're more of an audible learner, man, put it on in your headphones while you're walking in the park. It can be playing on the counter while you're washing dishes. You could be playing it while you're driving in your car. Why don't you turn your car into a time of personal development on the way to work? Man, it could be playing while you're in the shower. I like, don't be so over-righteous. Like, you think the only time you could be getting the word in is when you're in a corner in a room with a candle on. No, my brothers and sisters, you could be vacuuming your house and listening to the word in your air. On Saturday mornings, I'll be in my driveway washing my car and washing my wife's car and listening to the scriptures as I'm washing the, as I'm washing the car.